Well, I thought I'd shoot a different kind of video today. Uh, if you watch my videos a lot, you know uh, I like to wear flat caps, uh, baseball caps, uh, beanie caps, and that, uh, you know, in the winter uh, when you don't have hair, your head gets cold. And uh, in the summer, uh, when you don't have a lot of pigments, your head gets burned, and so I, I tend to wear head covering a lot. Uh, I thought I'd do a video today. I, I do like to watch review videos on Boston scally caps and other things, and so if you, you make review videos regarding these, chances are I probably watched them. But one thing I've never seen anybody show uh, uh, on YouTube in any videos is, uh, you know, how do you shrink or stretch one? Uh, you know, if you have one that doesn't fit, uh, you know, that is, I, I love the company. Uh, again, I have several hats from them, but uh, sometimes sizing with their hats can be kind of inconsistent. Uh, I'd probably say probably one fourth or one fifth of the hats I get from them, uh, I have to stretch or uh, uh, shrink a little bit. And uh, I'm going to show you in this video how I did that. Uh, they, even though they do have a good uh, return and exchange policy, you know, the problem is, uh, Often if you order a hat, it's a hat that's in high demand. You know, when you get it, you find out it doesn't fit. They, they might not have the other size uh, uh, in stock for you to exchange it for, you know, and then you just have to do a refund and, and wait. And, you know, the other problem is, uh, uh, is, is the next hat gonna be uh, the same size as the one you got uh, uh, that doesn't fit? Or if you go with a smaller size, uh, you know, is that one gonna be too tight? So uh, to start with, I had originally bought this uh, gray Boston scally cap in uh, gray uh, uh, herringbone. I love the cap, fits me great. Uh, not too snug, uh, not too loose, a uh, great hat. I, I wear it a lot and I liked it so much when they offered this one, uh, the Shamrock, which is another gray herringbone one that has a Dorchester uh, green bill and uh, Shamrock there in the back. This one fit me great too, Fit fits just like the first one. I, I wear it all the time, it's a great hat, you know, and uh, they did, did have some herringbone hats in uh, other colors, blue, uh, uh, green, and brown. And I thought, uh, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd get a couple others. And so I ordered this blue one here. And uh, while I was waiting for it, I placed a second order and ordered this, this brown one. And the problem was, uh, once I got this hat, it was huge. And again, it's the same, you know, medium large size is the other two gray ones I have here, but I mean, this thing fit like an extra large or maybe a two X, you know, when I put it on, it, it, it fits me great now. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. But originally when I put it on, it was so big, it would go down over my ears. And uh, I mean, so it wasn't just big band wise, it was big tall wise too. And uh, I was like, you know, what the, what the heck, you know, was this an anomaly or was it mismarked? And you know, half a week later, I got this one. And again, it, it fits me great now. And I'm going to show you how I did that. But when I got it, it was just as big as this uh, blue one. Uh, uh, you know, and I was like, what the heck? Uh, when I looked at the site, uh, they, they were out of it in the smaller size and the same size that I ordered it in because, again, it was a hat that was in high demand. And so, uh, you know, and even if I was going to exchange it for another one, you know, you know what do I exchange it for? I got, I got two gray ones uh, that fit me perfect, and then I've got uh, two in other colors that don't. I mean, w what's, what's the norm, you know? So uh, being kind of stubborn uh, and having some experience uh, shrinking hats uh, as an uh, uh, ex-Army paratrooper, you can probably tell by the uh, uh, Death from Above flag and my, my, my channel name, First 508th Airborne. I served uh, with the First 508th of the 82nd. I do have some experience shrinking wool uh, wool hats and stretching them. Uh, you know, again, as somebody that wore berets a lot. And, uh, you know, what we would do in the, in the Army uh, with a wool beret, if it was uh, a little loose, you'd heat up some water, 
uh, soak it in that, uh, take it out, wring it out, put it on your head, shape it how you want it, and then just wore it until it dried and it, it would be custom fit to your head. Uh, if you needed to stretch it, you would soak it in uh, cold water and, and, and basically do the same thing, you know, form it to your head and wear it until it dried. And so I thought, uh, you know, with one of these Boston Scally caps, you know, number one, you, you don't want to get the bill wet. And so I, I boil, I brought a pot of water, a large pot of water to a low boil. And uh, I dipped this cap down in the water up to here, which is, you know, the brim ends there. You don't want to get the brim wreck, wet and wreck it. And so I dipped it up to here and I dipped the whole hat in the boiling water and I held it there for you know 30 seconds or so uh, did, did the same thing with this one and uh, I then uh, put them in the uh, clothes dryer I know people are saying oh my god <laughs> but I, I put them in the clothes dryer on high and just by themselves and just let them tumble around uh, I set the clothes dryer for 45 minutes I checked them about every 10 minutes I'd take them out uh, put them on form it to my head uh, and, then, and then pop it back in and let it keep going. After 45 minutes, they were both fully dried, uh, but they 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 and, and they had both noticeably shrunk, but they were both still large. And so I thought, uh, let's do it again. So I reboiled the water. I uh, you know dipped them into about right here, wrung them out, threw them back in for 45 minutes on high in the dryer. Uh, Again, every 10, 15 minutes, took it out, would form it to my head, and then toss it back in. And, and they shrunk even more. And, uh, you know, they were both starting to fit good. And, uh, you know, uh, I was happy, but they were still a little big. And uh, so I thought I'd sew a couple darts in the inside of the band. Uh, you know, one of the things, uh, I always value the... Uh, the sewing class that I had in uh, junior high school because uh, uh, I, I maintained those skills my whole life, how to sew by hand all through the military when I had damaged uh, uniforms out in the field. Uh, uh, just, just all, I, I use it all the time. And uh, so what I did was I went in the hat band here. I don't know if you can see that. I, I knew after I had shrunk the hat and it was successful, I was gonna make this video and show how I did this. And so I sewed these darts in white so you could see them. But I sewed a dart here and then another equal distance on the other side there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a dart. And the, basically the way I did that is I turned the headband inside out and I pinched it so it's about a quarter of an inch pinch. And then I just did an overhand stitch about halfway down the hat headband there. And uh, man, this hat fits me so good now. It went from being a hat that uh, pissed me off uh, that I had wasted money on it to, to a hat that probably fits me better than any of my other ones just because it's been custom fit to my head. And so those are two different ways if you have a Boston Scally cap or uh, any other kind of wool cap or flat cap that you can shrink them, you can do the heat method or you know, you can sew darts into them. Uh, I did both with these. Again, you can see the, the dart here. And these are eight panel caps. And so the way I, I got the darts equal distance is I just went with the equal seam on each side there. And you can see this cap again after doing that. Man, it's like a custom fit. It actually fits me better than the two that came the right size. And here's one of the original ones. Give you, show you they look a little different now even. But I'm, uh, man, I'm really happy, especially the, the blue one. I, I'm really happy with how this one, it is so comfortable now. And uh, it, it really turned out good. So those are two different ways you can uh, shrink uh 
a Boston scally cap or uh, any other kind of flat cap, uh, especially if it's wool. And just to give you an idea too, you can see how much this thing shrunk is the lining inside this hat didn't shrink. So the lining is still pretty big. You can see compared to the lining in this one, you see how wrinkly that one is. So when I did that, the lining in the hat didn't shrink and that just shows you how big this hat actually was. And the lining in that one too. I mean, look at compared to this one here. These are the two that came the right size. Look how big the lining is because again, I had to shrink the hat and the lining didn't shrink like the hat did. I mean, it's just a soft cotton lining so you don't feel that or, or see it when you're wearing it. But So that's how you do it. Now, if you need to stretch a Boston Scally cap, I have a five panel cap here. These are eight panel caps. Again, this one in medium large. I had originally bought a five panel cap in uh, black and uh, the cap fit me perfect just like these two. And then when I bought uh, this one here in uh, herringbone, uh, it was surprisingly pretty tight. Uh, kind of uncomfortable to wear tight. And so what I did to stretch it out is uh, I took some cold water and uh, I dipped, making sure not to get to the head, the, the uh, uh, visor here, but I dipped the uh, headband in, in the cold water and let it soak, uh, you know, 20, 30 seconds until it was fully saturated. And then I just sat and I went around the whole back side of the hat behind the visor. And I just worked it and I just pulled on it and stretched it. And I did that for five minutes or so, just working it around like that. And again, while it was still wet, I put the hat on, formed it to my head, and uh, just wore it around uh, until it dried. And uh, the hat fits me perfect like a glove. Again, this is a uh, a five panel cap which is a, a little different than the eight panel caps here but uh, so that's how you stretch a Boston Scally cap or uh, other uh, uh, wool flat cap uh, pretty easy to do uh, easier than shrinking them uh, but both methods work great I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like this video I have a lot of Boston Scally caps I could do some various reviews on uh, if that's something that uh, interests people out there. I know my regular channel uh, uh, viewers are, are, are probably going to be bored because I'm, I'm, I'm a dog channel. But uh, I thought I'd throw up a little content uh, that was different uh, just to keep me from getting bored. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.